Hello friends, welcome to Golden Career. Today we will see how to solve question related to ratio and proportion. Ratio and proportion is an important topic because you will get at least to one direct question uh, from this topic and you will get at at least two to three questions in your di based on ratio and proportion so it is a very important topic and this is part one of the video in this video we will cover the i will cover the basics of ratio and proportion and uh, in further in the next part uh, i think there will be four parts so in next part uh, we will cover some advanced level questions and uh, in third part we will cover some SBI PO level questions and in part 4 we will cover some CAT level questions so ratio and proportion part 1 and uh, this video is especially for India Post Prevent Bank batch and if you want to join the batch you can mail uh, me your request at info at the red golden in you can also download free the Hindu newspaper from our website our website is www.goldencareer.co.in So now first thing is how to combine ratios. Suppose it is given A is to B is equal to 3 is to 4 and B ratio C is equal to 5 ratio 3 then what will be A ratio B ratio C. So first uh, I will tell you two method A is to B is equal to 3 is to 4 and B is to C is equal to 5 is to 3 okay so value of b here is 4 and value of b here is 5 so first what you need to do is you have to uh, make both values equal so to do the same what will you do multiply this ratio with 5 and multiply this ratio with 4 okay so if you multiply this with 5 what will come a is to b is equal to 5 3 are 15 and 5 4 are 20 and when we multiply second ratio the value will be 5 4 the 20 and 4 3 the 12 so now 20 20 is common now we can write a is to b is to c is equal to 15 is to 20 is to 12 okay so this is the ratio a is to b is to c but there is a one more method which is very easy actually you can call it a short trick so what you need to do is uh, you have to write this actually a is to b is equal to 3 is to 4 and b is to c is equal to 5 ratio 3 okay you have to multiply numbers in reverse and order what is reverse and make reverse and here like this 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 it means first you have to multiply a with b then b with b uh, like first you have multiply these two numbers then these two numbers then these two numbers okay so multiply 5 3 to 5 is 15 multiply 5 into 4 is 20 multiply 4 into 3 is 12 this is your ratio a is to b is to c so it is very easy to find ratio with this method if you have only two ratios like a is to b and b is to c and you have to find find the combined ratio of a is to b is to c then you can find it in very easy way by using this method Uh, next is uh, here three ratios are given a ratio b b ratio c and c ratio d so we have to find a ratio d okay so again we will use the same method a first we will find the a ratio b ratio c then we will find the a ratio b ratio c ratio d okay so a ratio b is equal to 2 is to 3 and b ratio c is equal to 5 is to 9 again we will multiply in same way this with this 5 2s are 10 now this with this 5 3s are 15 now this 9 3s are 27 so this is a ratio b ratio c now c is to d is ratio c is to d is 3 is to 9 so write 3 here and write 9 here okay write just below the ratio of c okay now we have to multi uh, we have to make this 3 
27 so what we need to do is we have to multiply this number with 9 9 3 is at 27 so if you multiply this number 9 then it will become 27 is to 81 now we can write a ratio b ratio c ratio d is equal to 10 ratio 15 ratio 27 ratio 81 so what will be the value of a ratio d then value of a ratio d will be this is a and this is d 10 is to 81 10 is to 81 this will be the answer let's move to the next question this question this is a ssc cgl 2014 question okay so let's solve it it is given that a ratio b ratio c is equal to 2 is to 3 is to 4 and it is also given 2a minus 3b plus 4c is equal to 33 then we have to find the value of b okay so these are ratios it means the value of a will be 2x okay that's why because the values are given in the ratio so um, value of a may be 4 value of maybe 6 value of maybe 8 so value of a may be anything so we will write it as 2x and value of b is 3x and value of c is 4x okay so what is given here is 2a minus 3b plus 4c is equal to 33 so we will put the value of a b and c okay let's put the value of a b is 2a 2 into 2 2 into 2x minus 3b minus 3 into 3x plus 4c 4 into 4x is equal to 33 2 2 is a 4x minus 3 3 is a 9x plus 4 4 is a 16x is equal to 33 okay uh, then 16 4 9 and 6 sorry 16 and 4 20x minus 9x uh, 11x 11x is equal to 33 then x is equal to 3 this is the value of x but we have to find the value of b value of b is 3x so we have to put the value of x here so 3 into 3 value of b will be 9 this 9 is answer so it is a very easy question and uh, it came in ssc 2014 paper let's move to the next question two numbers are 20 percent and 50 percent more than a third number find the ratio of two number okay there are two numbers uh, tw uh, which are 20 percent and 50 percent more than a third number so again values are in percent so if we can assume any number let's assume third number is third number is 100 okay then uh, first number will be 120 okay because it is 20 percent more than so 120 percent of 100 is 120 and second is 50 percent more than the third number the second number will be 150 because one number is okay so uh, we have to find the ratio of two numbers again we have to find ratio so 120 divide by 150 so we cut and uh, i think uh, we can cut the values uh, both values are divisible by 3 3 4 is a 12 3 5 is a 14 so value ratio of two numbers is 4 is to 5. next question uh, the salaries of a b and c are in the ratio 2 is to 3 is to 5 if the increment of 15 percent 10 percent and 20 percent are allowed respectively in their salaries then what will be the new ratio of their salaries okay the salaries uh, salaries are given it means a is to b is to c is equal to 2 is to 3 is to 5 okay this is 5 if the increment of 15 percent oh again there is an increment in percentage so salaries of a and b c will be salary of a will be 2x salary of b will be 3x and salary of c will be 5x okay uh, x may be any value if the increment of 15% are allowed there okay now we have to increase the value of a by 15% and we have to increase the value of b by 10% and c by 
20 percent okay to increase the value of uh, x by 15 percent it means we have to write 115 percent of 2x so 2x into 115 by 100 is to 3x into 110 by 100 is to 5x into 120 by 100 okay now we can easily find the value of uh, a is to b is to c means the ratio of their new salaries okay so both uh, 5 to the 10 5 3 is a 15 5 to the 10 0 2 10 is a okay so it's 23x by 10 now 0 0 it is 11 to the 33 x by 10 0 0 12 5 is a 60 60 x by 10 now we can cancel this 10 okay so the ratio of their salaries will be 23x is to 33x is to 66x we can cancel this x actually you can solve this question uh, even without writing uh, x you can take the value as 235 also okay so uh, new ratio will be 23 is to 33 is to 66 sorry it's 60 not 66 let's go to the next question the previous question was also from ssc CGL exam two number are in the ratio 3 is to 5 okay there are two numbers and the ratio is given ratio is 3 is to 5 oh, let's assume ratio of a is to b is 3 is to 5 if 9 is subtracted from each the new number are in the ratio 12 is to 23 okay so suppose the number value is 3x and the value of b is 5x okay if 9 is subtracted from each means we have to subtract 9 from each number okay 3x minus 9 then the ratio we know the new ratio okay so 3x minus 9 and 5x minus 9 and the ratio will become 12 by 23 now we have to solve this uh, and we have to find the smaller number okay so we will solve it now okay then 23 into 3 is 69 sorry uh, 23 into 3 is 69 minus 23 into 9 is 207 12 5 is a 60x minus 12 9 is a 108 so it uh, it's 69x actually uh, 9x is equal to 99 and the value of x is sorry 99 by 9 is value of x is 11 so now we uh, we find the value of uh, x we know the value of x is 11 we will put the value here 33 and the second number is 55 it means a smaller number is 33 we have to find the smaller number oh sorry this is a wrong question uh, this was the question okay the smaller number is 33 again there is a one more method to solve uh, this question which is uh, easy compared to this method so we know the ratio of uh, number okay ratio of number is 3 by 5 3 is to 5 okay and the ratio of new number is 12 is to 23 so difference between 3 and 5 is just write the difference difference is 2 and difference between 12 and 23 is 11 okay so what you need to do is you have to multiply this number by 11 and you have to multiply this number with 2 okay okay let's do it so if we multiply this number with 11 first number so what it will become 33 by 55 and if we multiply this number is it will become 24 
by 46 okay so now you know the number number is 33 and 55 if we subtract 9 33 minus 9 24 55 minus 9 46 so you know this is the number so smallest number is 33 again one more question if rupees 300 is divided among p q and r in such a way that q gets rupees 30 more than p and r gets rupees 60 more than q okay 300 is divided among p q and r it means we know p plus q plus r is equal to 300 okay and q is equal to uh, it is given that in such a way q gets rupees 30 more than p so q gets rupees 30 more than p and next is given r gets rupees 60 more than q r gets rupees 60 more than q okay so now we can find the value of r in term of p what will we do is we will put the value of q here so the value of r will become p plus 90 okay now uh, what will we do is uh, we will put the value of uh, q and r in the first equation this is equation number one so it will become p plus p plus 30 p plus p plus 30 plus p plus 90 is equal to 300 so we'll come 3p plus uh, 120 and 300 minus 120 180 so it will become 3p is equal to 180 and value of p will be 60 this is the value of p now we know the value of p so we'll put the value of p here p is equal to 60 so q is 60 plus 30 is 90 and r is 90 plus 60 is 150 okay so now we can find the ratio ratio will be 60 is to 90 is to 150 it will become 6 is to 9 is to 15 again we can divide it by 3 3 2 is to 3 is to 5 this is the final ratio which we have to find then find the value find the ratio of their proportion this is the ratio of their proportion so friend this was the first part of ratio and proportion topic i hope you have understand it well and if you have any doubt you can comment below i will try to answer your query and soon we will bring the next part of this video please subscribe our channel to get more updates thank you